Good morning everyone. Well it's another day and uh, we're heading out for the blue water again. We've got another pretty spectacular sunrise and uh, today we're heading out of Flat Island. So we've got uh, Flat Island over here. We only just come out off it and what we're trying to do today is get out in that blue water and target those uh, game fish species again. So we've got a bit of a paddle to get out here. Uh, the SST chart, chart shows some very nice warm water in close and we've currently got about 21.5 degrees on our sounder which is up about a degree from where we were last week so uh, we'll get out here and and see what we can find.
drag me through the water sideways. I was going side on. I've got the drag real tight. And um, I'm just making him work basically and resting. So he's got to drag me sideways. Um, and all I gotta do is hold on to the rod. Rod, I've got the drag right up. Let's give a head shake, he doesn't like it. Um, but yeah, we're uh, good three quarters of an hour in now. And um, he's definitely slowed down. He doesn't seem to be able to run it well. Um, but it just seems like at the moment we're in a bit of a stalemate. And um, there's not a lot I can do. Oh, he's, he's out of the water. He's out of the water. just lost our marlin that we had on it was a big marlin either a black or a blue I'd say and um, yeah it was a really tough fight had him on for three quarters of an hour towed me uh, four kilometers um, so anyway and yeah then he broke me off so anyway now we are re-rigged um, I've put a heavier leader on my on my big rod um, and we're gonna pedal around and see if we can get another live bait and chuck it out okay so I'm heading home we've been out here for a good number more hours now and uh, the wind's starting to pick up the weather's starting to go so we're heading home uh, It was pretty amazing hooking that marlin. You know, when I look back, um, I was jigging on a pin. I was just on the edge of the blue water. I was having a jig on a pin for a few kingfish and uh, they weren't really playing the game. I got a couple of rats, but uh, it didn't look like to, there was anything decent there. So I decided, no, I'm not here to play with kingfish. I'm here to get out into the blue water and so I put a put a lure out and took off and honestly I wouldn't have even got probably 200 meters the lure had probably only just got out and it got hit um, and it was a skippy which was great so I put that out as a live bait and I would have only been out for 10 minutes I'd just got everything sorted and I just started to move and the live bait got hit um, which was pretty incredible. I mean, um, I was nervous as to what it was, as I always am when I when I get a big fish on a live bait. A lot of the time, it's sharks, but um, it it came came up to the surface. It broke the surface. I still didn't know what it was, and then it leapt out, and I could see it was a marlin, and it was a big marlin. Um, I'm picking a blue or a black. Uh, and 
gosh, I couldn't even begin to tell you the size, but to put it into a perspective, the, my first marlin that I got a couple of years ago um, was well smaller, and we estimated it, that at over 120 kgs. So this was one big, big marlin. And uh, by the way, if you want to see um, the video of my first marlin, head over to uh, NZ Kayak Fishing and there's um, a documentary on, on that channel. Um, go, and, go and give it a look. I'll put a link in the description. So anyway, um, yeah, it took off on me. I fought it. Oh, it'd be three quarters of an hour. And then it, um, it broke me off. It actually broke off between the leader and the clip swivel. And I think it was that knot, and it may have been somewhat damaged in the, fight, in the fight with the shark last week. So probably I should have checked it, and probably I should have changed it. But um, lesson learnt. Well, guys, that was a big day. Probably 30-odd Ks for the day. Possibly even a bit more. Um, I was really lucky to get that tuna at the start. I was amazed I didn't get any more. Water was blue, warm, all the right conditions just seemed to be a real absence of tuna. If I hadn't have got that first one this morning that the marlin ate, I'd have been in trouble. So um, yeah, all in all, great day. Um, and gosh, you know, hooking that and playing that marlin has, <laughs> all it's done is fed the addiction if possible. I can't wait to get back out. Maybe I'll try tomorrow. Hey there everyone. Well, it's the next day. We've come out again because conditions are still pretty good. It was a late start. We had some jobs to do this morning so we didn't get off the beach till just after 11. But we're out here now. Got a little work up happening over there of tuna. We've just scored one and it's gone straight out as a live bait so um, things are looking good again.
headed home. Apart from the blue shark, there was not really any uh, game fish action. A few tuna around. We've still got a lure out, so uh, we might pick up another tuna or two on the way home, but I think they'll just go straight in the bag. We've run out of time, really. But yeah, that was my weekend. Enjoy.